Hey everybody, it's uh, Michael at GotchaRocks.com and spring is here. And we did a little casting in honor of spring and it kind of went south on us. So we've got a little bit of a repair to do. This is a gold piece and it has a kind of a, a, a prosody cave in it, basically a hole. And so we need to fill in that hole with gold and we're gonna use a fusing technique instead of using solder. So this will give it a really clean look like it never happened. So that's what we want to go for. Now you can use this technique uh, for all kinds of things like uh, fabricating. If you wanted to use this with like sterling silver instead of gold, you can fuse pieces together. So it's really handy, no solder involved, and it's just a really great technique to know just in general. So uh, before we get going, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you think this would help out anybody, hey, please share it. Uh, give me a like or a comment, that would be awesome, and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So, without further ado, let's, uh, let's get to the, doing some fusing on gold. Alright everybody, here is the piece that we just cast, and uh, we need to do a little repair on this. Uh, this is done in 14 karat yellow gold, and what's happened is uh, that we have a little bit of uh, a porosity cave right here. And that could be because the flask was too hot, it could be because the flask was too cool, it could be because the metal was too hot, um, it could be a variety of different things or a combination of uh, any one of those. Anyways, our problem is there's a hole in this pendant where there isn't supposed to be one. So we could fill this in with solder and uh, that would fill it in, however, um, you would always be able to tell that something happened there. So a better solution is actually to fuse a piece of gold from the sprue into the, the pendant. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a little piece of this and we're going to cut it off. And you could also use the vent, which was right here. And this was supposed to capture um, any gas or anything like that uh, that would actually cause that uh, porosity hole. So we're going to cut off a piece of this, we're going to ball it up, and we're going to clean up this area a little bit, and then we're actually going to fuse this in, and hopefully when we get this all cleaned up, and we might have to do a little bit of burnishing, but you'll never be able to tell that anything ever happened. So that's what we're going to do. The first thing we want to do is uh, remove the sprue, and we're going to remove this vent. So we're going to saw this off. Just use your jeweler's saw. All right, now that we've removed the sprue and the uh, the vent, we're going to uh, take a ball burr, which is this one right here. It's just a round burr. And we're going to uh, just clean up this area so there aren't any rough spots. We want this nice and smooth in here. And just to let you know, you can use this technique to fuse any piece of gold together that you wanted to. So as long as you have two surfaces that are relatively um, smooth and you do this technique, you can fuse them together. And that looks pretty good. So I'm going to clean this in an ultrasonic and hit it with the steamer and uh, we'll come back and we'll actually fuse the piece in. After you've cleaned the, uh, the piece, uh, the next thing we want to do is prepare it for the, um, the fusing. And so what we're going to do is dip it into the uh, boric acid and isopropyl alcohol mix. And you can kind of make this in a variety of different ways. Um, you know, you can do 50-50 or, uh, you know, 50% boric acid and 50% isopropyl alcohol would probably work just fine. That'd be a little bit thicker. So we're going to try that. I'm going to mix this up a little bit. We want just a nice coating on here. So mix it up. And we're going to lay it on our soldering board. 
and we're going to do the same with uh, the metal that we're going to put in. So I'm going to cut off some pieces that will fit into the little crevice that we just made here. The next step is to measure approximately a piece that's going to fit into the, the crevice that we made. So uh, we, I'm just going to just roughly kind of mark it and come over here to the sprue. I'm just going to mark that. So I'm using uh, my dividers just to get that measurement. So you can eyeball this. You can add more if it doesn't work the first time. So you know, don't stress out about that. But just get something that's approximate to what you would need to fill the hole. So I'm going to cut this off and we'll take a look at it in a sec. Alright, once you have your, your piece cut, then you're going to take this little piece right here and we're going to dip this in the boric acid as well. And this is our fire coating. And we're going to set this on the board right next to our horse. The next step is to heat this piece here until it becomes a sphere. I'm using a mini torch and a medium uh, torch tip. Alright, so I'm using a, a, a pretty hot flame here. And this uh, flame is about uh, about six inches to seven inches long uh, when it's coming out. You notice that this isn't super sharp like this, but it's actually kind of a longer cone. And I want to slowly heat this piece of gold up until it turns into a sphere. If you overheat it really quickly, you're going to get the porosity, which is exactly the problem we're trying to fix in our, our little pendant here. So just slowly heat up the gold. And you'll see it start to take on a rounder shape. Now I need a kind of an oval piece, so that's kind of what I have right here. So I'm going to leave it right there. I'm just going to let that cool. And while it's still warm, I'm going to pick this piece up. I'm going to place it on top of the pendant. I'm going to move this pendant back over uh, to the place where it was warm. Next, I'm going to heat the sphere that I made. And the idea is to heat this sphere up uh, so that it's actually hotter than the pendant that we're, we're fusing it to. So what happens is the layer right around the sphere uh, heats up and then it heats up a little portion of the pendant. So a little edge around the hole and right there so it starts to fuse to it. And as it fuses then you're ready to go. So the next thing to do is to, to quench it. Here's the piece after I fused the, the, the gold onto it. So this big ball here is where the, the cavity was. So I heated that up and what happened was I got this top portion here hotter than the pendant. And then when the, the, uh, the edge of the pendant started to heat up to the same temperature as the ball or the sphere, then they fused together. So what I'm going to do is cut off this um, sphere that we made and fused on and we'll just see if it, if it worked out and if it didn't and then there's still a little bit of a cavity then I'll cut off a smaller piece and I'll do the exact same thing so I'm just going to cut this end off and we'll we'll see how we did
So this is actually looking pretty good. Uh, we might have a little uh, repair to do still, but um, for the most part, it looks pretty clean. So take a look. I'm going to remove the uh, the majority of this uh, excess metal with a, a large cylinder burr. So far this is looking really good. I'm going to use a uh, sanding disc and clean up this, this area. Put this into your flex shaft, tighten it down, and sand away. I see that there's one spot right here that I could fill in just a little bit more. So I'm going to go back in and cut a very small piece and fuse it right there. So I had a little piece of uh, porosity still left, so I went ahead and re-drilled. And so now we have something that looks like uh, just a little hole. And I'm just going to take a piece of wire, and this is 14 karat wire, and this is from the casting, this was actually the vent. And I'm going to place it right inside the hole, or hopefully inside the hole here. Okay, so it's going to stick out like this. What I'm going to do is heat up this wire, and then draw it down to the pendant, and then fuse it to the top. So I'm actually going to add just a little bit of flux to it. This is called My Handy Flux, and I'll put a link in the bottom. All right, so let's fire this up. Medium hot flame. And heat the wire. There we go. So as I got closer to the pendant, I turned up my flame and made it really hot. So the, the cone went from kind of wide to really short. And when I did that, then I was able to fuse just this portion as opposed to melting everything. Once again, I'm going to use the cylinder burr and just clean this up. Next, I'll use my disc sander. I'm using a, a, a burnisher and this is a basically a nut so if you had nuts and bolts and you take the nut you can put this onto a, uh, a little mandrel and you can use it in your flex shaft to burnish the uh, metal down. Next we're going to polish. Bombs away there. Uh, we're using Zam and a cotton wheel. This is the final piece, so it could use just a, another final polish, but it looks pretty good, and you can't tell that anything ever happened because we used the same metal that we cast with. And that's it, everybody. Uh, so that, that's how you fuse metal together, so whether it be uh, gold or uh, sterling silver or fine silver, uh, you just basically kind of heat it up and uh, definitely, definitely practice before you try this on uh, somebody's piece or something that you've you know, spent tons of hours on. Uh, if you have any questions, leave me a comment below. I'll be happy to get back to you as soon as I can and um, go out there and make something cool. Bye.